Sometimes the most important thing you can do in life is just show up. Hey team, welcome back to Design Today. Thanks for joining me on episode 86. I'm your host, Dylan Winspear. Today's episode is gonna be a little bit different because today was just a little bit different. As you've probably noticed, I do these rants every other week. On the alternate weeks, I do guest interviews, and those are recorded you know, weeks or sometimes even months in advance. In fact, right now, I've got guest interviews that will take us all the way into November. But the rants, I save them to do them just in time for the release. The reason is that I wanna make sure that those things that I'm ranting about are really those top of mind things. Today is no different in that aspect. As my day got going, I started thinking about potential topics. I was really starting to jive with a couple of them, and in truth, I'll probably end up going back and doing a few of them next time. But as my day moved on, I had an appointment with the Red Cross to donate blood, and it was not one that I was looking forward to. So my wife, she can donate you know, a couple times a year. She, she's great like that, right? But me, not so much. I don't enjoy donating. I don't enjoy needles. I don't enjoy blood. It's not really my thing. So I don't donate all that often, but I was really hoping to figure out what my blood type was. They're doing the COVID antibody test at the same time, and that was something that I was going, you know what? The risk and reward, I'll go for it and I'll do it. After checking in and hopping up on the bed, I popped in my AirPods, I started listening to a podcast, and I donated like a champ. Of course, I can't look at the needle, and I can't do any of that because, again, it's just, I'm a baby when it comes to that. But after donating, I grabbed my stuff, I jumped off the bed, and I didn't make it more than 10 feet before the room started closing in on me. The next thing I remember, I was laying flat on my back, and my feet was up on a chair with three or four nurses around me. I still thought I had my AirPods in because I couldn't hear a thing uh, what the nurses were saying to me, but no, AirPods were on the ground next to me along with my phone and my wallet. It took a good 30 minutes, but I finally got my bearings straight and I was able to head on home. And I couldn't stop laughing because the last time I donated plasma, this was probably 10 years ago, pretty much the exact same thing happened to me. I got home, I laid down again, and I was wrecked. I couldn't move. I didn't have the energy, I didn't have the motivation or anything. And that's when this topic popped into my head. So here's my tie-in. Sometimes in life, the most important thing you can do is just show up. You might not want to. You might figuratively kick and scream the whole time about it. You might not enjoy what you're doing. You might not enjoy the people you're doing it with. You might not have the energy, the desire, the motivation to do anything, but you gotta do it anyways. So much of what we make of life comes from when we just buckle down and take some action. Make something happen. It's not always gonna be fun or enjoyable, but it's important just to show up and, and, and show that grit just to get through those times. Now, I won't say just grind it out is the answer to every situation. If you're having more of those grinded out situations than not, then maybe you should uh, seriously reconsider or reevaluate what's happening in your life. But what I'm referring to is when you wanted to do something at some point, but then the time came to do it and you found excuses not to do it. Do it anyways, just show up. I've found for me personally, that the start and stop ride through life is really difficult. I'm the type of person who needs habits to build consistency. And if I can get real cliche here with you, consistency is the key. It's important for me to put in the time. It's important for me to put in the work. If I stop, it gets much harder to pick it up later. I think some of you might feel the same way. So if today is one of those days for you and you're struggling to get going, let me encourage you to just show up. Show up at your job, at your class, at the conference or workshop that you RSVP'd for. Show up for your coworkers, your friends, and your family. It's not always easy, but the impact can be profound if you're constantly working on just being there. I hope you're all getting after today. And if you're struggling, reach out. Shoot me a message on the Design Today Slack channel. Let's hop in a Zoom call. We all struggle for one reason or another. I wanna show up for you, so let me know how I can help. I'll see you next week.